uh, two scholar of the first whatever in the heckin. Uh, Mark Meltzer. Let's go. What is that mask? Skimitar. I don't know if I'm gonna do just Dark Souls. They kind of do want to do. Set of the K, even though I'm not liking the game. I really have been playing like three hours a day, at most. Not even every day. Okay, so what we're doing here, once that's done, uh, or save up and buy a soul for the Vagrant Brands of your from her, as you'll need it later anyway. Once that's done, head back out the door. Be careful as the enemy around the corner will have. Head back out the door. I'm going this way. My weapon at. Enemy respawn. Is still the auto turn? I swear I did it, but whatever. And this is breakable wall. Uh, directly opposite the door is a break in the wall. Oh, right here. Uh, and drop down in the platform below. There are two enemies below you. Plunge attack. I just want to know where the items are. You gotta tell me how to play and where each enemy is. Also, I don't see. Oh, there they are. You fall so fast. <laughs> oh my god. Rude? Oh. Alright. And follow the platform along the wall on the ledge ahead of you is a corpse holding a human effigy. Human effigy over here. I'll be there for you. Oh. We can probably just fall down and do it. I'm gonna do this. Oh. All right, human effigy. Head down to the platform below and kill the enemy. Oh my god, I missed. Uh, there will be next to a tree. Uh, continue down and the platform will lead next to a tree. Climb across the tree. Grab the soul. I just want to know what the things I need. I I gotta read the whole guide just so I can see like. I I don't want to go searching through it between each, like, NPC I come across, and, or, like, a jester that I have to do something stupid for. So many things here. Torch. Alright, uh, this leaves you with two massive, uh, oh, hold on. A lot of enemies on the ground below you try to bait them back up the tree one time uh there are two more enemies in the middle of the area so bang kill them as well. They'll use you with two magically hovered armored turtle enemies. Both of them are facing away from you if one is clearly visible, the other one is a cave to your left. Do not attempt to backstab them, they'll simply fall and crush you. Bait it out of the cave and wait for it to slam down the floor with its club. This will give you time to attack. Oh, we're just gonna kill everybody here, okay. But that's this flask, we're fine. Is it a bike? No, he's just walking. I think he's on a bicycle for me. There's one of the boys. Look at that sword, oh my god. Hey, boy. Where's the other one at? There's two of them. Oh, there he is. That was a heavy attack. What soldier shield? Hey, boy. Oh. Okay. Swing, swing, swing from the table that I have. What would it be the sprinting attack? Sprinting heavy. He would actually. There's a sprinting attack? Rude. Why did I press 80 to get up? Alright, you're down. You got this boy. Hey, boy. Swing. Swing. I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid of me. So was that. <laughs> All 
Alright, he's down. Uh. Next is to do the same second one. That's like that branch of the second cave that is full of fires. You pro. Um. Anything in here, though? Hey. Oh. I see the same second one that's like under the second cave is full of fires. You approach, fireballs explode in front of you. Pay attention to the pattern when the floor is a corpse of the soul of pride. No, you also I'm gonna pop it life gem. Uh hit the door before the explosion hit inside of the chest containing a flame long sword. Okay, am I gonna be using it? Need more dexterity to use it, is up to you if you wanna go for oh probably will then. We're going down there. But boy, you're done. Never mind, I'm garbage. Arranged battle. So we can land the same spot? Okay, can we go in here? We can. Hurry up, boy! Get out of the cave and walk up the hill to your left before heading to the ladder. Check to the left for the founding horse, holding a bunch of life gems. Climb the ladder and go back. Okay. Oh. I guess I can go offline. That would be the best thing. Should be a ladder. Yep. No, we have to go get the life gems first over here. Or something right behind her. Yeah. Three. The ladder and go back along the wooden platform about halfway across. You can enter a hole and drop into the corridor from earlier. Alright. I'm gonna go back to the bonfire, gotcha. Maybe I should get my index down and not have to worry about it anymore. Where we go for the club? I'm in love with the club, cool. 15 strength. What are we at? Default? It's like 13. It's 11. <laughs> they coming? I think he is. He's coming towards me. Yeah. Dumbo, you are not coming towards me. Why are you down here? Pardon me. Come on. You missed. Oh. Chill with the fireballs, my dude. <laughs> he wasn't hurt. Ow. Who do you think you are? Maybe a ways, but I don't want to die. It was definitely a waste. I climb the stairs to the floor above. First, I'm gonna rest. Give the door here a couple of hits to break it down and go inside. On the floor will be a crystal lizard. Quickly kill it before it fades away to research. Okay. I can't believe you. <laughs> Hit the wall every time. Hand axe. Hello, soldier helm. Oh, I don't know what that. I think it was a shield. There's chest in here too. Yeah. Let me go ahead and rest so we can have the thing spawn back. Is, is that how this works in this game? I think it. One of them it doesn't, I'm pretty sure. You gotta actually re relog. Maybe it works in this one.
New tech up, okay. That one will work though. Good swing. Good swing. Good swing. Why are you like this? <laughs> I can just run wide. It doesn't go into the corner, I guess. <laughs> Let's claim I'm about to buy a fireball. Another firebomb. I'm not going to use it here, but I'm going to equip it. Bunga, kuda, gong, gong, ba, dong, gong. Don't go in the corner! Why are you like this? I actually hate me. Uh, what if I use... I don't care. We're gonna be too handy. That works. As long as I can hit it, it's fine. That is not bad either. Shard. Okay. Radiant light gem and a small white sign soapstone. What did this man do to jump that far? Don't mind if I do a divine blessing. Save it for when you really need it. You should buy now for that souls. You need to buy Ferris Lockstone from Melina. Use uh, Melatina. Uh, find the previous area. That's what you do. The right of the bonfire as a whole. Eat downward. Okay. Buy the thing. Ferris Lockstone. Okay. Okay. Thank you kindly. behind me? Yeah, there it is. Rude? Who do you think you are? In my soul's play you alive? You are. <laughs> Don't do that. Of course. Rude boy. Can we go this way yet? No. What are you doing? You don't do that. What am I doing here? Uh, fruit? Stop. There he is. You gotta go. I can get up this, you know. There we go. 
So what are we doing here? Uh, you will see a tree leading upwards. Climb halfway up the tree. Don't. Is it the branch to reach the roof? There, number. Okay. Halfway up the tree. Down here, I'm guessing. No, but I was supposed to go up all the way. Well then. Rude? Don't do it. Great air root boy over here. Here we go. I'm on up. I think I go over to the branch. Just inside there. Can we even get back up there from here? Is there an NPC inside here? There definitely is an NPC inside there, if I remember correctly. A boulder too. He didn't shoot me. Losing the head. No, I doubt that. Also, they don't work like that in this game. Oh, we get up right over here. What am I doing? Look at that guy's body. Is where I'm going up here? Rude. Let me read this. Ahead of you, we'll see the tree leading upward. Climb halfway up, then turn around and use the branch to reach the roof. Number of on the roofs here, so do quickly deal do. First two enemies are easily reached. There's a third enemy to your right, the battlements in the fourth ahead of the other. Jump across the roof and kill the enemy first, and work our way up to the right. Climb up the ladder and kill the enemy at the wall. Wait, did, wait, did I, am I reading this wrong? We just did that. Now be safe to do so much blowing in this area, though you're particularly unlucky. There might be an enemy up at the massive battlements shooting down from you. Do anything about them yet? Head back to the ledge, killing the roof. Back to the ledge leading to the roof in the center of the area, and, and look down to find an enemy. I'm gonna kill it. There's a ranch just outside the wall of the building. It leads. On the left and splits into two. One path curls around the building until the left and the other lets you down to the tree. Take the path curling around the building to find a tiny. What am I? Am I even reading this correctly? Bunker could honk up a donk. Ah. Oh. Ah, I think I have to go over there. Don't ding ding. Should be like another one down, right? No. I'll build that. I'm okay. Am I safe here? No. Yes. So head back up to uh, head back to the ledge leading to the roof in the center of the area and look down to find an enemy. I'm gonna kill it. Okay, so we're gonna go drop down on top of this enemy and kill him. I'm gonna heal first, so. Whoa, come back!
Uh, back to the left. Kill it. There's jet rapids outside this building. It leads around to the left. It splits into two. One path curls around the building left, and the other lets you drop down under the tree. Hold there for a defeat. You never even get the Titanite Showered, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, the reflection. Um, hit the path of reading. Find the Titanite next to the uh, porcules. Now work your way back around to the roof of the central building, jump across to where the fourth archer was, jump down on the right, and then to the gate next to the ladder, okay? Head forward and away for the Indiana Jones tribute to roll past. Pick up the human effigy from the corpse opposite of your uh, head up the ramp. At the top, you'll find Kale. Speak to him until he gives you a key, and then continue speaking until he reads himself. Speaking with Kale, okay. So we're gonna off his dialogue. I gotcha, I gotcha. Chink. Be wary of death, thereby jump. I don't know what it said. I think it might have said, be wary of death, thereby jumping. Where did we swim in a Dark Souls game? Dark Souls 4. Underwater level. Why don't you sprint? I'm sorry. Is sprinting not a thing in this game anymore? I didn't realize they've put out a patch. Or a hotfix. Over the course of me getting my stamina back. That's fine. It, it's fine over not a human. Honestly. We're not going to be doing any bosses yet. I don't think there's any that you... If, if it says to do it with a certain uh, person, I'll do it. But I think we're fine. Oh, first death already. Are you coming? Are. All right, we're just gonna go to the cave. And I think we're done with this area, so it's not that big of a deal. Rude boy. Rude. Oh, you're lucky. Rude? I'm gonna drink up in a minute. Haha, <laughs> you miss, rude boy! Don't even worry about it, it's fine. It's fall. See you next summer. Not even an issue. Ah! Going back around again? Okay. Alright. Grab the souls. There we go. I'm about to half fix the uh, game again and add the sprinting back. Bye. Hey, but effigy? Only the one, right? Friend died. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just daydreaming. My name is Kale. I'm a traveler, like yourself. I'm navigating the continent to create a map. Why cartography, you ask? Well, that's a good question. When I first came to this forsaken land, it was... Um, a, a, a curse? A, something about a... 
embarrassing. I seem to have lost my focus. But I do know one thing for certain. I have always been very fond of maps. I came to this land some time ago. Drangling, the lost kingdom. It sounded so romantic. Have you seen Majula? Oh, there's a rather spacious mansion there. I've made it my temporary home. Well, as something of a squatter, I'm afraid. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map, like none I'd ever seen. I believe that it's a map of Drangling. Now Drang I'm Light. traveling the land to prove it. Yes, yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. Wait, no, that wasn't it. Then what? I don't seem to recall. Were you looking for that map? Wonderful. Then you're fascinated by maps, just like me. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Here, take this. A key to the mansion. What oh my god, so sweet. kindred spirit out here. Incredible, really, isn't it? Such a map to be chiseled in stone. Oh, but one thing. I would not venture deep into the mansion. I can't be certain, but I've heard disturbing noises. Something about it feels wrong. Just be careful. Isn't it the place of Medulla? Or Medulla? I'll be back in Medulla soon. Perhaps we will meet again and discuss maps at our leisure. I'll be back in Medulla soon. Okay. Ah. Amber Herb, we're not using any spells, so it doesn't really matter. Alright. What a view. I'm not knocking on heaven's door. Hi, 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 hi. Is he okay? Do what you gonna do? That was kind of risky. I tried to kick. Is it? No, it's like it's shoved now, or is it up like that? There is a jumping attack. Mr. Mora. Pardon me? There we 
go. Life gem and human effigy. Torch. This is that shard. I'm gonna go use that. Who do you think you are? Oh my god, he's the toughest boy. I was gonna flip that killed me. I dare you. I dare you. <laughs> I deserve that. Back to Majula, the far fire, and we'll give her the assist chest the flask is up to the assist shard flask shard thing. Assist shard flask, whatever they're called. Flask shard. Is that a shard you've here to see light? However. Here you go. Look at this dapper boy. I'm in back to the far. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Everyone's so dapper around here. Alright. So every time you die as a non human, you lose your max HP. Um, climb the ladder and you'll see a large, large arch on your left, plus a smaller arc on front of you. There's all on the wall on your right, that's where you need to go. He got, <laughs> he didn't get hit. I'm actually amazed. Oh, that's fine. I'm upset. I deserve every piece of that. I should have healed a while ago. We don't lose any more max health, so. Whatever, boy. Give me a little pokey. I don't. How can I? I don't do the shell when I want to. I want a shell, but he's like, nope, not gonna happen. Three hits. Lock. The box came out of the ground. Screw. I just wanted to get him baited, but they don't work out well. Let's go. What if I do a firebomb? He lived. One HP. One more, right? It's still Great soul arrow. Large soul of the large undead, of lost undead. Do wooden shield. I mean, might as well, honestly.
Okay, so now what? You're in trouble? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Once they're dead, head inside uh, the hole and check the corpses for some good loot, including one of the sorcerers, do for the later achievement, and a shield that's a slight improvement the one you currently have. The back of this room and then the ladder leading downwards, head to the floor beneath it. Am I blind? I don't see any corpses in there. Hurrah for jumping. Hurrah for rear. I might just be blind. Uh, once they're dead, yeah, yeah. Take the corpses for some good loot, including one of the sorcerers needed for the latest treatment. A shield that is light and permanent, than what you currently have in the back of the room with the ladder the downwards. Head to the floor beneath the five. They found a baby trap chest in the middle. You have two choices here. Either try to dodge out of the way or raise your shield. To get attack, you have to roll out of the way. Is that a ten of shard? Yeah, sure, why not? Ten of shard. And then head to the corner of the room to find a strange face on the wall. It's a various contraption inside. Search your lockstone and real secret door. Hit the mist with the weapon to open it. Inside are two chests containing a tiny slab and a clarinthy ring. The ring is, uh, magically increases stamina. Yeah, I know. Hold on. Oh, I'm gonna find out whether that sorcerer is up there. Am I, am I blind? Oh. Adieu. There we go, put on the ring. Probably I'll put it. no, I don't need to put you on. Where is this sorcery? This is for the Dark Souls 2 version and not Scholar of the First Sin. Or they're right here, and I'm just completely stupid. Do I have any sorceries? Great Solar. I might have just got that, actually. And the shield. I thought I got that from my weapon, from my drop that I killed. Or guy that I killed. No, was it from that, actually? I guess it was from that. Alright, there's also like the door in the previous room. Hit them with your sword and stand back. The enemies inside will come out. Investigate. Okay. One down. Come on, Rebus. I thought he would have died. It's hit him all once. How about that? Brilliant gameplay. Or oh, brilliant of me. That gameplay against fine. Rude. Boy. Poke me. Nice poking. Life gem, okay. And. Wing spear. Well, I want to get this large titanite boy with the life ring. It's so dark in here. Uh, what am I? What was that? What was I doing? Life ring. There we go. Go exhaust um, the conversation, dialogue, whatever. Repeat. Hello, PT. Hello there. Traveling all alone in these treacherous times. 
Well, I hope you have a very good reason. Oh, hogwash. Who am I to judge? <laughs> My name is Pate. I journey hither and thither on a sort of treasure hunt, you might call it. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. Oh, yes. You be cautious if you go any farther. There's treasure in there for certain, but the entrance locks from behind. I saw the same design earlier, and it's the same contraption, I'm sure. I was with this warrior, you see, and he insisted that he go inside first. <laughs> a rather brusque fellow tried to swipe the loot for himself, but it trapped him inside. I still have the gent's ring. I do hope he wasn't harmed. I'll leave this one to you. I'm worried about what might be inside. I'm not voices. I'll leave this one to you. Okay, you're done. So now we're gonna go to the right instantly, right? Um, once you're through the, uh, right back to the large arc, but not enter yet, there's another arc just as soon as you do enter, so run straight for there is a number of enemies up above the Once you're through the arc, kill the enemy inside against the well, wall, two attacking, and the two attacking the tree, behind the tree is a large soul, okay. But he'll live for some reason. One more attack, right? Yeah. Maybe it could have been. I thought it was like an overhead attack, but I was wrong. I want to loot the item. And give me the. Uh... Thank you, thank you. Try to treat Bubble. Try to destroy Bubble. Okay, I was close. Uh, of course, up in the crossbow arm. Head back to the previous room where the enemy was standing against the wall and climb up the ladder to the battlements above. The corpse has a crossbow on him instead of counting. He passed the corpse, turn around, and climb down the ramp with a wooden cart. Enter the building and slowly walk down the stairs. If you have any bombs in your inventory, this is a really good time to use them as there are uh, five enemies waiting for you. Hey, why not? See point, why not? It's for fun. That crate out of here. So instead of continuing, we're going to turn around and go down where this card is. Am I going past here? Uh, enter the build- yeah, enter the building. Backstab this one. Never mind. Just miss both of them. Not really, that's fine. Don't die. You're done. There we go. Just threw the bomb. I shouldn't have walked on through. I should have just free it. Aromatic ooze. Three of them. Uh, interact with the wall directly at the bottom of the stairs. You reveal a secret door. Here's a chest. Interact with directly at the bottom of the stairs. You reveal what? Oh. 
Uh, just continuing the first sorcerer's staff. If you're planning on using sorcery with hexes, head up the front yard of the particles. Roll drop in front of you. Now head back up. It's got an amber herb. Um, drop down to the pate. Speak with him until he gives you a white sign. Soapstone is very similar to the other soapstone, except this one allows you to be more powerful when you're summoned. Make sure there's also the dialogue. Okay. Don't mind if I do pate. Everyone's dead here. Uh, out of the yard, and the porticles will drop in front of you. And head back up through the building. Okay, no, okay. Thought maybe we just opened the door somehow, but I was wrong. Alright, Pate. I will proceed to drop down to you. Well, I see you managed to escape. I hope that brave warrior didn't come a cropper either. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. Oh. But you should take this. Oh my god! It allows undead Pink. to call out for help to one another across the fissures between worlds. With luck, somebody will lend you a hand. Well, I see you managed to escape. It's all the dialogue, right? I hope that be kept. Well, I yeah. see you managed to escape. Should we go up here and go right now. The thing about this guide is so it reminds me to actually exalt the dialogue. I would never do that. Wolf and Sophia Stone. We can get that back to the birds if you want to. Okay, um. There is a soul of a nameless soldier on the corpse above the window. We go torch uh drop down in the crate yard up there are three enemies on the floor below so be careful when you drop down and kill them there's also a chest containing a couple of items you don't want to kill first probably a shield guy that's fine just don't hit him I just can't see. I just wish it would actually hit him. I'm swinging next to your body. You're like, nope, we're fine. All right, that's fine. We just run back there. Not a big deal. Touch me. Every boy you missed. I don't even care. Max probably. Assuming we do. Most certainly did. Shut up, boys! Not here anymore. Okay.
Just hit the dude. That's all you gotta do. I even went for the heavy attack to hit him. There we go. Now break your infantry helm. Gotcha. Poor soul. up in the first boss, correct? I think. We're going left to right. And around the corner, there's two spear enemies. Try to take them out one at a time. In the corner, the wooden car. There's a turtle behind the uh, beta male. Kill him. What's this? Died. Can't believe that missed. I want to do a jump attack. Well, no, no point now. He's shielded. Come on, my dude. Here we go. Oh, you don't even know what you just done. Shell boy. Spot. Ah, of course. Gonna wake up. Listen, you're gonna get up sometime. Bastard sword. Larger leather shield, life gem. Worry of overwhelming confidence. It looks so white. <laughs> uh. And north of the left for now, and instead open the cage door to the left. Okay, so we're gonna northern left for now. Open the cage door. This unlocks the shortcut back down, yeah. There we go. Back down to the ladder and kill two enemies that have respawned at the bottom. What? The ladder. This is another shortcut back to the bonfires. Head back down to the ladder and kill the two enemies that have respawned at the bottom to the left and then at the bottom of the right. Oh, that's because I should probably go do this. Oh! We're gonna fight the boss, the, the giant, right? So. Yeah, we'll go up here and get our SS back.
I don't know if you have to summon them actually. For the uh, boss up here. Oh, they hate me. I mean, I'm gonna pop an effigy anyway. Let's see how it works in this game. I, mean, I should probably check that. I'm actually the worst. I take so much damage from hitting walls. So much. I mean, that works, just attack from up. Alright, do you pop them like embers, or is it like... Pop my embers. Head down the lift. Lord. Radiant life gem, don't they just do more? Alright, Pete. Sell us loot. loot, sure. I don't, I don't think I should talk. I don't think we'll get anything, any gestures or anything. But just in case, he's doing it. Two years since I fought this boy. Excuse me, that actually hit me. I believe we got this. Cell Sword Lewis. Okay. Really? Hey, he's dead. Boats at all? Chesters? Told you key to the soul blast giant. Oh, nothing. Okay. Well, then now what? So we can either be consumed for success of the regular souls, or trade later gain for an axe, hide it by consuming it, you will also unlock. Leave the goddess giant's abode, or ride the lift back up at the ladder of the bonfire, and usually the travel of the Majula. Okay. No bonfire. Nah. Is that the key for this door? No. Don't know why I thought it was.
Anything over here? No. It's a wall. Alright, let's go back to the Medulla. As you arrive, Merchant Hag Malintia should already be there, sitting against the walls or the village near the bonfire. She just closes the game as you get the general store, but we need her for here for an achievement before doing anything else. And then Magdalene, the armor, and a thousand souls, and uh, anything at all. Um, none of that is boring, but we need to spend a thousand souls in order to make a meal list doctor to manage coverage through the game. Okay. He's inside this place, yeah. Oh, hello again. Uh, I hope you find something of use. All right, buy them. Do you have anything consumable? No, you do not. I want to spend a thousand, so I'll just buy this. I think. Infantry armor. Sure. There we go. Thanks very much. Uh, and do please come again. Head to the large house in the end of town, enter the ancestry in the back room, on a corpse to the corner. Alright. 